So do you want to know how to separate all your audio in OBS? That's the point of this video. I want to show you how to separate all your Spotify, Discord, game music, any other audio source in OBS using free software. And uh, yeah, let's, let's get into it really. Throughout this video, I will show you how to easily manage all your audio sources for your Twitch or YouTube streams or even your YouTube uh, videos and all by using free software called Voice Meter Banana. I recommend that you go into the description below and download Voice Meter Banana and the virtual cables and restart your computer and then we'll get into the nitty gritty of it. But if you want to just follow along, it's a real quick video, really simple steps. Let's get to it. Okay, so this tutorial is for Windows only. Once you download and install Voice Meter Banana and also the virtual cables, restart your computer. This is very important. So after you restart, uh, open up Voice Meter Banana and ensure this app opens every time at startup. You could do that two ways. You could go into your startup applications and manage it, or you could go into menu and do system tray run at startup and then show app on startup. If you're trying to get Spotify as a source that you can control, I want you to open up Spotify and play a song and then pause it and I'll show you why. Next, we're going to go into sound settings in the start menu. I like to make my default cable A and then scroll down to app volume and device preferences, the audio sound or the advanced sound options. We're going to go in here and since Spotify is here, we're going to click into this and make sure it's cable B. Yeah, we could close this. Next, we're going to open up Discord and you're going to want to go ahead and go into user settings, voice and video, and then you want to choose your output device as cable C. Close that, make sure it's set. And then in voice meter banana, what you have here is basically a bunch of mixers for your different inputs. On input one, we're going to click into here right there and you're going to choose WDM cable A. So this is all your computer sounds and you want to rename that to be computer sounds. And then on our second channel, this area, we're going to click here and make it WDM cable B. You're going to rename that Spotify since that's what we made our Spotify up. And then also on discord, we did cable C. You're going to make it cable C. There you go. And rename it. These are the sound levels I like to use for my channels. So the computer sounds will be something like alerts that pop up on the stream. So I like to use about negative eight decibels. Spotify, I like to keep it at about negative 28. And then Discord, I like to keep it at negative three. So that way my voice is just a little bit higher. And what you need to check on these is A1 and A2 on all these channels. So now what this is doing, I like to think of it as like an audio engineer. You have all these different sources for audio like uh, imagine a guitar, a bass, etc. And so what we need to do is divert those into their own channels, which we've done now. And now we need to put them out to separate channels so that way OBS could pick it up. So I like to choose A1 as my speakers. So this way um, it can go to my headphones from my case, my computer case. And then A2 as cable input. There's no letter, it's just cable input. And you could choose or you could choose MME or WDM. It doesn't matter. That's fine. And now we're going to open up OBS. And sorry if my screen's a little crazy. That's how it goes. Uh, so then we're going to go into settings. And if you haven't done this already, I want you to go into audio. And then I want you to disable all these sources, default sources. Okay, easy. So in that scene or in any scene, if you don't like to see nest, you're going to create a new source. You're going to add audio output capture. Uh, you can rename this as computer noises or voice meter, whatever. That might be smarter uh, voice meter. And then what we want to choose is that cable input right there. Now you can see it added in here in here. So if I go to Spotify, plays it. If I had an alert pop up, it would do it. And I can mix it all by doing test recordings and adjusting those volumes. And honestly, that's it. Set it, forget it. You never have to touch it again. And if you want these uh, audio sources in any other scene, you just add that source. Easy. Boom. There you go. 
I know what you're thinking. Yes, Nutty did a video about this and he breaks down very easily like the concept of how your computer picks up different audio signals. So I recommend you give that a watch, take a listen. However, in his video, it's it, it, he shows you the same steps, a little bit of a different way, but some of it's a little confusing. So I wanted to try and make it a little bit more easy uh, and easier to work with. So if you found any of this helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel or let me know in the comments if you're having any issues. Also, please join my Discord community and uh, I am building a copyright free lo-fi beats playlist, which you can probably hear in the background. It's on Spotify, it's free for you to use and no DMCA issues with Twitch. And uh, I do stream live on Twitch also and that's really about it. So thank you for watching.